All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So just looking at this chart, I remember saying I felt like we were gonna come down to the 140s before we headed up to the 160s. And sadly, that is what we're looking at right now, all right? It is super, super important that this thing holds Otherwise, it, it actually might get a little scary. So we'll talk about that soon. High tide. I actually did not look at the earnings. I did not even see many headlines actually. So I would love to get some some info from from the comments for sure. But it was a really interesting chart to say the least. I don't think Friday closed well, but most things didn't really close well because again, in the U.S., there is a long weekend, right? But. Um, I, I, I was really hoping that the earnings, actually, look, I was obviously hoping good things happen, right? But I would say this, I was expecting the earnings to make it fly up or down, and I don't think it did. So I'm, I'm actually really curious to look deep at high tide, because honestly, I haven't. I'm going to do most of that live on this video here. Um, I'm keeping CGC on here. I think there was some really good discussions between a few people, so I'm more than happy to keep it. And then I'm going to flash Curaleaf on this. I think it was really good that I looked at Curaleaf, Cresco, and Green Thumb. I thought Green Thumb was kind of the weakest between the three, so I kept that off. But again, I might just kind of rotate those. So... Um, all that said, we'll get into the details shortly, but what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to the channel, share this thing on the internet, like the video, comment on the video. Hey, if you disagree, I'm not here to hate on you, right? I'm, I'm happy to have a good discussion, but um, anything you can do really does help me out, especially with these YouTube algorithms, all right? So um, let's get into it again. Sandal, S-N-D-L, man. Ah, oh, what's happening here again, right? Like it, it went from this beautiful run to the 100, look like a healthy bounce again to the hundred and then just a really really hard slap down just super sad to see you know again i know it seemed like there was reason to believe that this was going to kind of do this break the eight and run up to this maybe but yeah it's just there 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 just there wasn't a lot that i liked and again the sector itself just isn't pushing which always makes me scared on individual stocks right and this 140 line all right i know it's a little bit easier to see it on the weekly but this 140 line is the line if we lose it it is a very very long flight down into all-time lows i should have said drop instead of flight right and oh look what's really interesting i just noticed this not that it really matters too much because we're down here but the 200 just formed so it has now been trading for a little more than 200 weeks interesting just again does it really matter now i don't think so because it's you know so far up here and we're definitely down here right but look at what i see here man i always say this a doji on an important line generally means the next candle is going to kind of tell the truth all right so i really think next week we're either coming up to this 160 or we actually might drop a solid 10 if not maybe 20 percent every time we hit an all-time low line and i'm telling you i don't care if it's an ai stock which you know i love a lot if it's a weed stock here if it's anything in between all right like I always say if you if you hit all time lows, get ready to lose 20% in the blink of an eye. And losing roughly 30 cents, right? 15, 15 is 30. I'm just rounding instead of 14, 14. That's I, like, I could see this being a quick drop to a buck 10, especially seeing this doji on the line right here, right? And hey, it might happen by Friday when I say quick drop, but um, you know, I, I don't know how much more, because like, let's look, this 140 line's done some good things, all right? Damn, it hasn't done it in a while, but there was one monster rip right there. There was one attempt to save right there. There's been literally a week and a half of just hold it, for the love of God, hold it, right? So um, there's only so much you can do. And again, I have to go all the way back to when is this? 2020 right like november 2020 just to see the last time we touched it right so 
Um, I'm worried. I don't know if it's going to make the bounce. And I'll be honest, if it does make the bounce, I just don't think it's going to do this monster of a bounce. You know what I mean? So um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I, I'm, like I said, I'm seeing this going closer to 110 than I do see it breaking what is this 155 you know what i mean like i think 156 let alone 159 is going to be super super difficult okay um let's take a look at i nice okay perfect high tide all right again this is what i remember seeing okay i believe earnings came out on wednesday the 14th all right i might be wrong let me know but i believe that's when it was i remember seeing this doji and i was like all right next day should be interesting i then remember seeing this all right i i i don't know if i necessarily saw it actually run to the 200 but this this and, it, and it's wild right it literally hits the top it literally hits the bottom and it basically goes back to where it started right it opens 136 flies to 143 dies to 127 and then basically goes back to where it started just a couple cents away from that 136 right you can see all those number in the boxes over there right but that's just crazy to say the least right like it literally hits the full spectrum and then you know friday i think a lot of things sold off because of the long weekend this is just a really really scary sell-off all right so let me know what you think about the earnings again i know there's a lot of like really passionate people there are very long holders right so um i i love hearing from you guys you know that but yeah end of the day i've said it so many videos i'm gonna say it one more time break the 200 and i'm ready to run with this all right anything under the 200 and look as i zoom out i'm just kind of sh like there are some monster monster reasons to go up that's basically a gap fill right there that's basically a gap right there's there's a lot to like over the 200 over the purple line just again as i zoom it's been since right here since two, september 2001 we're coming up on a full two years of just death under that line you know what i mean so um yeah interesting i think tuesday's open is going to be really important we need to come back to 131 you do not want to be under the cluster right you want to at least come back and hey we've been under before able to come back i don't want to go down right i need to come back okay so um i'm not liking it and and again i'm i'm very curious if this is bad earnings reaction, if this is long weekend sell-off and very much what just regular investors like, you know, you all that watch this, right? What do you guys think? So, and I don't say regular with offense, you know that, right? I'm just regular too. So um, ain't nothing wrong with regular, baby. Where are we here again? I think that same 200 moving average line is the 200, sorry, the 200 on the other one is the 50 here. Um, 133, look, it's going to be real difficult. Look at that. You can see the 8 and the 20 are literally both at 132, right? So just getting over 133 is going to be really tight. And I basically said I need to get back into 131 tomorrow, or sorry, Monday, right? Sorry, Tuesday, right? Sorry about that. Um, again, I'm going to throw it out there. U.S. tickers are definitely closed. I'm assuming Canada is going to be closed on Monday. If it's not, um, yeah, we'll see what happens, right? I'm going to actually learn a little bit of something right there. But high tide, it just... Um, Ah, rough. And I, I wish earnings did a little more. Look, CGC. First off, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a real honest thing. All right. I am never gonna tell you to do anything with your money. All right. You I, I try not to let you know what my money's in, and you know, I am for sure never gonna like tell you, hey, you should buy or you should sell right now. That's never something you hear on my videos, all right. Someone asked me in a video, and I know it was like a few weeks ago. Um, I don't know exactly when, but someone gave me an honest question. They were like, and they started it, which I appreciated with, hey, I know this is not financial advice, but should I sell CGC? And I said, yeah, I would. And I gave some, some honest reasons of why I would, not necessarily saying that this person should have, but um, I took the question to my point of view and I said, yeah, I would unload and, and this is why. And look, all we're doing is still trading under all the moving averages. All we're doing is still falling below and going down into all-time lows, all right? This stock 
has not broken the eight moving average. Damn, look at that. I'm just like, this was the last, so from February, from the middle of February, the last time we broke it well was one, two, three. All right, three times since February. That's one, two, three, full months and basically between the end of February and this like middle of June where we're at is four. In four full months, we've actually only done it one, two, I'm gonna give it this one just for charity, three, four. You can arguably say three, right? This eight moving average is is, is no joke, all right? When it when it is your, your worst enemy, it's a horrible line, all right? When you lose an all-time low support, it's easier to see it on the weekly, right? When we lo and that's barely a support. That's a that's a red candle. I don't make things on red candles. That really was the line, the 121 line. Nonetheless, I put it at 105, right? Like there I know this RSI on the weekly is at a 5, all right? Normally I say 30 is way too low, right? Like honestly, there is just so much bad going on. And hey, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a reason to believe we're gonna kind of start going either a little horizontal or maybe go back up to like touch the eight. Cause we are, right? You generally fall from the eight, get close to the eight. Fall from the eight, get close to the eight. Fall from the eight, hopefully get close to it. But um, man, there's just, there's a lot of bad happening. And look, only one little pathetic green candle in a sea of red cell, like, there is so much bad happening here and I would have unloaded, taken my heart on money and put it in a better stock because there's so much like good happening in the market right now, right? So um, a different, different analysis because honestly, there's not a lot of technical analysis to talk about. We're under the lines and there's nothing telling me we're going to flip it, right? Maybe a little sympathy trade to believe that we'd come up to like 68. Do I actually believe we're going to come to 83? No, I really don't, right? Like I, I just don't, but... Um, rough here, all right? I will say we're gonna end it relatively well because Curaleaf is actually kind of starting to look all right, okay? Where those other ones are going down and down and down and losing the eight and losing the eight, look what's happened. This one's kind of flipping and the eight's starting to go up and this thing's kind of riding with the eight, right? We actually have a positive MACD and an RSI that's not bad. We're coming up in a very important, we haven't even touched. I would even say here, this is the, it was November of last year, because this is really where we lost it and never came back to it, right? November was the last time we battled and beat the, the 100 moving average. And even before we beat it, there was a number of times we were like near it on it, near it on it, right? So this is the first one in a while, but man, hey, volume's kind of picking up which is interesting. Like, that's not bad, that's not bad. That's actually an interesting doji. Curaleaf ain't looking bad, I'm not gonna lie. Again, it's not gonna be easy to break this 100, but if it breaks, we might go from three to 360, 370, give or take, right? This is actually 372, and that right there is a 20% flip, right? The, the 200's actually all the way up at 4.3. So, um, and man, yeah, break that parallel. Basically, if, if oh man, this cure leaf, interesting. A lot needs to happen, and all is going to start with this hundred. All right, it's not going to be an easy battle, but it's actually setting up pretty well. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Where are we on the weekly? Oh, did we get over it? Oh, we just closed under it. Look at that. The twenty is at three. Oh, oh man, by a half a sub penny. Get out of here. That's not bad. I like that actually. When was the last time we were over that 20? Man, same time frame actually. Oof, this one's interesting. Again, that's not that's not horrible. That's actually really good diversions. I wish it was just a little closer or over the, the zero line, right? But that's not bad, that's not bad, that's super low. Volume's actually been pretty decent too. Cure leaf, all right. Let's see if this thing can, again, this one's actually kind of saying I wanna get into the fours as well, just break this little horizontal, which roughly speaking is what this one's saying, right? Break this horizontal and take me to the 200, so. Um, Interesting. I'm glad we can actually end it a little bit positive because this was kind of a, a rough video to say the least. But hey, appreciate your time. Let me know if you disagree on anything. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you.